So good morning, Paul here from Mental Health Motorbike. We're actually into April now, so I think we're probably <laughs> first week of April. Wow, where has this year gone? The good news is the sun is shining and I hope there's lots of Easter activities happening on people's motorbikes. Sadly, my bike's still in the garage. Uh, hope to get it back soon. Just a massive thanks to SD Motorcycles that's keeping my bike alive. Thanks guys, really appreciate all the support that you constantly give us. You can see I'm in a different location, but I'm out walking again. It's Friday, my big walk day. I just wanted to, uh, I'm just navigating a little bit of muddy, muddy ground here. It's actually very nice, but it's still quite cool. I think it's good weather for riding actually. You don't get too warm, although the sun's shining, it's dry. So here we are on the Five Pits Trail again. Great location. This is probably about five minutes past my back garden. So it's a place that I spend a lot of time down here. There's three little fishing ponds. I take my dog for a walk every day down here. And I'll give you a little tour around before I tell you what's been happening this week. So this is the, uh, as I say, this is the Five Pits Trail. Three ponds here and then a few ponds further around. But what a beautiful place to walk. Always quiet as well. So I think what I'll do, I'll just stop on these steps and have a quick chat. So another really busy week this week. The first thing I want to sort of talk about though is just how happy we are that we've got around about 50 race marshals trained. It's the first round of the British Superbikes this weekend and what we've actually got is 50 race marshals in place, trained, trained by the charity, trained by our incredible trainer Chris. Really good reviews there coming through Chris consistently, so thank you for that. But, you know, more importantly, what, what we're actually doing is putting that safety blanket of support in for people who need it in the race, race scene. It's an initiative that Rich Gibson set up. Uh, Richard's doing a fantastic podcast at the moment, so if you haven't checked it out, it's called The Late Apex. Google it on any uh, podcast provider and you should come across it. And it's literally talking about grassroots racing, it's for the club racing. Fabulous. Well done, Rich. Uh, yeah, so race marshals, very, very pleased that we're touching that 50 mark now, in, just in time for the race season. Unfortunately, we're not going to be at the British uh, Superbike Rounds immediately, but we're going to be looking at how we, we do that. We've got so many activities and events running. So, last couple of weeks we did the Gear to Go, and then this weekend, last weekend, we did the Warwickshire the Bike Partnership, the Road Safety Partnership, the Project Edward. That was a really good event. It was the Caffeine and Motors Cafe down in Stratford upon Avon. Where we were positioned wasn't the best footfall, but we just did so much partnership building and networking with some really good people. And it reinforces how we need to be working alongside the emergency services and the road safety partnerships. So thanks to Faye, uh, thanks to the team down there just for making us feel so welcome. It was a good day from our point of view and we also had probably about a team of about eight people so we had cal we had debbie we had bob we had another debbie <laughs> we had mark myself diane it was just a great team uh karen was there and it's just a chance for us all to catch up and really enjoy what mental health motorbikes about and that's getting out and networking with other bikers so what else this uh, today we we've got a team down in luton a fire station in luton again a road safety sort of awareness sort of type activity we've got bob down there with mark massive thanks to mark for stepping in and running this one because i've got no transport to get down there at the moment so once my bike's ready it will be out believe me uh we've got the stafford uh classic bike show coming up so we do need two volunteers for that Actually, we've got one more ticket left. So if you want to come on the Sunday or come for both days, we've got a team working at the Stafford Classic Bike Show. We can give you a weekend ticket for that. And come and join us. It's a really good show. It's a very interesting demographic. It tends to be a lot of older men. 
but you know it's a really good one for talking about what we're about you know it's that age group of people that have historically been told you don't show your emotions you don't talk about mental health yeah but surprisingly last year we talked a lot about mental health we talked a lot about people's problems i've got a little friend here <laughs> just walking down yeah so we've also got castle coombe big event at castle coombe I'd need some help with that one. So we've got a few volunteers, but if you fancy a weekend at Castle Coombe, the same weekend as uh, the Classic Bike Show, so the team's a little bit split. If you fancy a weekend working with me down there, it's going to be a really good club racing event, and we're going to be made to feel very welcome down there. I've got Heidi and Jeff working with me, and possibly a couple of others. So, yeah, uh, I think what's... High, been highlighted so far is just how much people are getting behind what we're doing we turn up now and people know who we are people come and say thank you for the support that we've given them so don't underestimate when you're at these events just how appreciative people are of the services that we're giving and that's a nice feeling that's what we set mental health motorbike up to do we didn't realize just just the interest that it would generate so it feels very very good to be in this position that we're actually getting welcomed and people are coming to meet with us. Uh, we're also going to be uh, doing a big order of merchandise soon. So if you want a particular type of mental health motorbike merchandise, drop me a message in comments and we'll try and get you some. We're good. I know the beanies. Last year we were on the bike show. I think we sold out within day two. Completely all the beanies just disappeared. <laughs> we had loads of them. So the different coloured, the different shades of pink beanies went down really well so we'll be getting some more of those although it's more sort of baseball caps now and but we'll get some more beanies and anything you want just let us know uh regional coordinators we had some the final set of interviews this week really really impressed so if you've had one of those interviews just bear with us ken will be contacting you hopefully this week after the easter weekend and we will actually be uh, moving you forward on the next steps so it'll be things like the DBS checks, uh, confidentiality statements, uh, non-disclosure stuff and things. So, yeah, and then the final bit, is, you know, we, we, we're spending a lot of money on subsidising the mental health first aid training. So we've got to bring some more money in now. So if you've got any creative ways that we can raise funds, we're always looking for that. So if you fancy doing a mental health motorbike fundraiser, please you can find us on facebook as a birthday you know sort of gift act idea but yeah if you're a club do some fundraising for us we really do use that money wisely we're very streamlined as a charity we're not wasting money every penny's been sort of spent wisely in my opinion and that's the idea now is to really sort of build the the network so that we can continue to be meaningful and relevant Sorry about that abrupt ending there. That was uh, the uh, memory card full. Rookie error. I've not been filming for a long time. So yeah, just finishing off. If you want to do any fundraising for us, please give us, give us your support. We also will talk to you then about how best we could use that money so that your members could benefit, particularly if you're a club or a group. So that's it then uh, for this week. Just want to say a massive thank you. Everybody that consistently works with us. Uh, Steve and Jackie, thank you for sorting out the uh, race marshal network. And yeah, looking forward to Castle Coombe where we can sit and talk about what, what, what happens next. So take care everybody, have a great weekend, enjoy the racing and please, 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 please reach out if you need some support and ride safe. All right, bye for now. Happy Easter, everybody.